On today's episode of Hey Alice, we're gonna be talking about timing the market. My name is Alice Prince and I'm a broker with Royal LePage Signature. I work with many clients throughout the Durham and York Region markets, specializing working with first time home buyers and helping sellers move up that property ladder. Young. So the other day I was talking to a lovely young couple who said to me, hey Alice, you know, the market's so crazy right now, so we're gonna just kind of wait and see what happens with the market. Maybe it's gonna crash, so then we can afford a cheaper home. Now this is something that I hear often, this notion of timing the market. But let's really back it up for a minute and look at the fundamentals of what drives real estate prices. There are six key factors to consider when analyzing the real estate market. Number one, cost of ownership. So mortgage interest rates, during the course of the pandemic, they have been historically very, very low, sitting at under 2%. Number two, job security, meaning income and employment. Did you know that consumers have saved on average 28% of their income versus the 2% pre-pandemic times? Buyers have more money now and the cost of borrowing right now is very, very low. Number three, population growth. Keep in mind that the recent sales activity we've been seeing is from the local people. Over the next four years, Canada has slated 1.3 million immigrants coming to our country and majority of them will land within the GTA. Number four, supply and demand. This is the biggest factor to consider right now because there is simply not enough quality homes hitting the market to satisfy all the buyers that are currently looking. Key word being quality. When deciphering which direction prices will go, supply levels are the leading indicator. Number five, regulatory changes, meaning government intervention, which based on my experience of seeing what has happened when the government steps in, hasn't gone very well. However, the artificial cool down is short lived. Remember in 2017 when the 16 Fairpoint housing plan was implemented? It cooled things down, but only for a short moment. The average price at the peak of 2017, which was March, was 916,000 versus now the average price in the GTA is closer to $1.1 million. And last but not least, number six, global factors. Consider how the pandemic has shifted people's expectations, wants, and needs. People have fled the condo scene to the suburbs, looking for more outdoor space and space in general. But not even the top dog economists can truly predict what's going to happen in the real estate market. Sure, we can speculate and sure some headlines sell more than others, but timing the market is next to impossible. Remember when CMHC predicted that home prices will fall 18% last May? When in fact, according to the Canada Real Estate Association, home prices in Canada have risen almost 32% year over year and in Ontario 30% year over year. Now you're probably wondering who the heck is CMHC? Well, they are the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, which is a government department that acts as Canada's national housing agency and its mandate is to help Canadians access affordable housing. Timing the market could potentially set you back and you end up chasing your tail. It's not about timing the market, it's about your time in the market. The more time that you keep a home, whether it's a primary residence or an investment property, then the longer you have to build up that equity using real estate as a vehicle to create long-term wealth and take advantage of the market conditions and price appreciation. One thing to always keep in mind is that the market will ebb and flow, but the trajectory long-term is always upward. If you wait and try to perfectly time the market, you not only run the risk of being bumped down in segment type, but also run the risk of being priced out completely. So for example, a detached house in Durham region last year was $722,000. Fast forward to this year, the average cost of a detached home in Durham region is $990,000. Maybe now that detached house isn't on your radar, but a townhouse is because those are selling for on average $635,000. Your first property likely isn't going to be your dream home and that's okay. My advice to you in this instance is to fully understand what you're capable of, don't overextend yourself and understand that you have to start somewhere even if it's smaller than what you hoped for. Now no one knows where the market will land until we're in the thick of it. We don't know the bottom until we're already experiencing the up. But what we do know is that real estate is a long-term investment and outlook and if you want the results to be winning results then you need to think of it long-term. Something to note is that over the last 40 years, historical data shows that the market has on average appreciated 6.73%. And although this graph may be a little bit difficult to read, what it's showing is that since 1980, the GTA prices have on average appreciated 6.73%. And this includes the crash we have had in the 90s and the correction 2008 and the second half of 2017. Now, it's not always a good time or a bad time to buy or sell real estate. It truly depends on your personal situation. 
And here's an analogy that I recently learned that I think is really, really helpful. And the analogy is this, the real estate market is like the weather. There's no good weather, there's no bad weather, there's just inappropriate clothing choices. So for example, if I'm a snowboarder, I want it to snow, that would be a great market for me. Or if I'm a farmer and I have crops that need the rain to grow, a rainy day would be an amazing market for me. So what does this all have to do with real estate? Well, if you're a first time home buyer and you've been saving during the pandemic, then yeah, maybe now is actually a good time for you to get into that condo or that townhouse to start building that equity. Or if you're a move up buyer looking to move from a townhouse to a detached home and have been living in your home for a little bit, maybe it would make more sense now to jump up to that property ladder than it did before. And if you're a seller or you're looking to sell your investment property, it's likely a great time to consider your real estate needs and to cash out. The bottom line is that it's all specific to your situation. Macro numbers is what the news is going to report and that's important, but where the money's made is on the micro level. So if you're considering making a move in today's market, ensure that you have a pre-approval and keep your eyes open for properties that suit your needs. You never know when a good opportunity will, will present itself. And if you need help finding these opportunities, never hesitate to reach out. But remember this, don't step out into the market unprepared, dress appropriately. So there you have it. If you found this video helpful or know someone who will benefit from it, please share it. Ciao for now and I'll catch you on the next one.